Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. I've had a lot of requests on how to use Procreate tools. So I thought that I would put an instructional video on YouTube so that it can kind of break it down. Instagram could be a little bit fast sometimes and so it can be hard to know what's going on in there. Before we get into the video, if you want to see more of this type of content, you want to learn how to use Procreate tools, then please like and subscribe to the channel. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you. So we have this Homer Simpson. We've obviously had to pick the drunk image of Homer Simpson as he typically is. I've found an image online, gone over the image, and we've used a brush called Monoline, and you can find it in Calligraphy Monoline. When you see my brush settings I have on my stabilization, I keep the amount to be quite high. This makes it everything smooth, kind of like a cheat for stabilization in the app. I just went around the image, took the lines, it's pretty straightforward. So what do I do from here? Well, the first thing I do is I select the image and I select reference, and what reference does is it only allows you to draw within these lines. And let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to select a layer above and I'm going to get some colors and I'm going to drop them into the image. And as you can see, it only goes into the image and doesn't spill all into the rest of the page. Very useful trick, but it keeps all of those colors on one layer above. So the line layer and the color layers are separate now. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in my colors of Homer. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Give him red eyes to make him look a little bit more drunk. And there we go. We have everything onto one layer nicely above. But I want to create a new layer for my shading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a layer above and I'm going to select clipping mask. And what clipping mask is, is it acts as an alpha lock. And if you don't know what alpha lock is, I'll show you now. If I go back onto my image, I click on the layer and I select alpha lock. With my brush, I draw over everything. It only draws within what I have colored in. Very good tip. But clipping mask acts as alpha lock for the layer above. So it keeps everything separate. We don't want all my colors to go over the colors that I've already done. So this creates an alpha lock, almost a layer above above my image. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this isolation tool here. It's a cutting tool. I'm going to draw around freehand around these eyes. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I just want to isolate that area. I'm going to use a soft blend pen here, and I'm just going to give his eyes a little bit more darkness, make him look a little bit more drunk than he is. And again, I'm going to draw around the other eye and you can see that it is isolating the area. But what Clipping Mask has done for us is it's kept that shading on the layer above. Very good tip. Now I'm going to get my second layer of yellow. I'm going to select a medium blend brush and I'm going to draw some of the highlights in. And this is great tool because it keeps all of my illustrations in order and it keeps everything a lot more clean, crisp, and concise. If I ever need to go back into anything afterwards, I can just go back into the layers and change it. How do I get the effect of him looking all kind of dizzy afterwards? It's pretty simple. I merge all the layers together when I know that I'm done with everything, bearing in mind, and I'm going to take reference off. I'm going to duplicate the layer twice, and I'm going to go into this magic wand tool. I'm gonna to select hue, saturation, and brightness, and I'm going to drag the color just off, maybe into this kind of purpley color. Select it by going back onto my layers. Drag that to the bottom of my layers. And my top layer here, I'm going to go back into the hue saturation and make him green, a bit more woozy. Next step for the green is I'm going to press this N in the corner and drag the opacity right down to about 30%. I'm then going to select the layer and I'm going to drag him slightly above. You can see that the effect is already coming into play. Then I'm going to go back into my layers and select my bottom layer. I'm going to do the same with the selecting the N and take this down to about 50% and then drag it down slightly to the left. And as you can see, we have now created a drunk Homer. I hope this has helped you with what clipping masks are and what you can do with them. There's many ways to keep your illustration clean with them. And it's a great tool for keeping everything in a constructive order and you to know where everything is. So that's it for the video. If you enjoyed this and you want to see more of this, please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again soon. Thank you. If you would like to learn how to illustrate, I have a Patreon page and the link is in the description. Also, if you would like to buy a brush set of mine, the link is in the description also.